everyone, welcome back to Decorate with Dana. So you guys know I had a and Kova, Decorate with Dana and Kova, because she loves to be in the video too. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh, I love puppy kisses. Okay, so can you go lay down? <sighs> Anyways, welcome back to Decorate with Dana. So as you guys know, I just did a party series. Um, I was having a holiday party, so it kind of brought up an idea of a gift that I could, or a not a gift, a video that I could do on um, hostess gifts. I received a couple I never ever expected. I invite people over and I do not expect them to bring anything, but um, you know, a couple people did bring stuff and then a couple people brought food. So to me, that is the gift. You are contributing to the party. I don't need anything else. I don't invite people over to get a gift. I invite people over just to have a nice time. So. Um, but I just like, I like to bring something when I am invited somewhere and I don't like to spend a lot of money and I don't think you need to. I don't think it's about how much money you spend. It's about just a nice gesture thanking that host or hostess for inviting you over to their home. Um, and so I just like to bring something. So I have a range of things that I have as ideas. And you know, these can also, some of them, not all of them, but can be used as like a teacher gift maybe or something. So, you know, it's kind of a nice idea. I tried to keep it no more than $20 and some are way cheaper than that. So um, I would say at max $25, but I don't even think so. I think everything was about $20 and under. So, um, I'm just going to start off with some ideas. So we're going to start with the most inexpensive one that I did. And I have a, at the end of this video or after this intro, I'm going to show you how exactly I did this, but I made a, like a homemade simmering potpourri. So, um, you know, you would just put this, they would put this in a pan with water and just let it simmer and it makes your house smell amazing. I, not everybody loves candles. I love candles, but I, I don't feel like everybody loves candles. So, um, you know, this is a nice natural way to get your home smelling amazing. So I'm going to show you in the end exactly how I made this. And you can do a couple different versions. You can do it in this little mason jar. You can just do it in one of those cellophane bags that you can get, the decorative bags. So I will show you at the end how I did this. All right, the next thing is you could just do a very simple, this would be probably like a good teacher gift. You know, I have just a mug. Of course, I have a Ray Dunn mug, but you can use any mug that you want to use. I actually love these Ray Dunn mugs. Not, yes, I am a collector of Ray Dunn, but they are basic and simple. So they seem to go with um, a lot of different styles. But anyways, I got just a basic mug. I try not to get, a, if, even if it's a holiday party, maybe not a specific just Christmas mug because I want them to be able to use it all year. But in it, I put one of these little um, double chocolate hot cocoa stirring spoons from Trader Joe's. I put in another one of these little stirring spoons with the little mini marshmallows in it. I just have a little candy cane and a little York peppermint patty. So, you know, and I'm going to also show you in a tutor tutorial at the end a cute way to be able to present this to them. So that's another idea. And then another idea I have is, um, this is a little scented um, wax cube warmer. And this one happens to be a mason jar one, and I love that. I think this is so cute. So um, I got one of these. I think these were, you can usually get them for like nine or $10. I found this one at Kohl's and you know, you can give them some wax melts. These just happen to be all I have right now. I do have, I have some other Christmas ones actually also, but again, you can give them any scent that you want. You don't have to do specific holiday. You could do whatever you want. I love these lemon ones. These smell so fresh. So, you know, this makes a nice gift, relatively inexpensive. I think you can, these happen to be the Bath and Body Works ones. I think you can get them for like $3, so like $13. And this is a great gift. All right, another thing is, so sometimes, you know, you're asked to bring a dish and, you know, really the, the food that you bring can be the gift. So depending on who the hostess is, 
you know, if I'm really close with them or something, I might want to do a little more. So I will bring the dish in a dish that they can keep. So this one is again, a Ray Dunn dish. Um, they have a bunch of different ones. This one just happens to say thankful. This is one I have, but, um, you could put the food, maybe you're making a dip or something or hot dip. You could put it in here, cook it. And then their gift is they can keep this dish. And these are only $14.99 at Marshall's. So, you know, again, under the $20 range and it just makes a really good gift. Now I got a cat next to me because this is my videos and there's never not an animal there. So another thing, I know we did the scented warmer and we did the simmering potpourri, but you also never usually can go too wrong with a candle. I mean, everybody, I feel like a lot of people like candles. now. Since, you know, you can just see what you want to do. This one happens to be a Christmas one specific. It's the fresh balsam, but they have a bunch of others. You could do like, to me, frosted cranberry would be a great scent to give um, that it seems like a lot of people like. It's, it's fruity, but it's not super fruity. It's a little spicy. So that would be a really good scent, I think, but you could give whatever scent you want. And then I happen to also have this little magnetic candle topper that they have at Bath & Body Works that just stays on there. So I feel like this is a really good gift also. And again, I'm going to have a tutorial on another cute way to be able to present this gift, how to wrap it and present it. That will be at the end of this video. And another idea would be, well, of course, a bottle of wine. But again, coming up, I'm going to show you a really cute way to be able to present this. Um, and so then it's not just a bottle of wine and it's something else with it. Um, so that'll be coming up at the end of this video and you can get whatever brand you want. This is Apothic Red, which I happen to like. This is maybe a nine or $10 bottle of wine. You can go as high as you want, as low as you want. Um, it's the thought and gesture. And maybe if you know specifically what type that they want or that they like, you can get their favorite wine or if they don't drink, you can do like a sparkling cider or something and do the same thing. And then going along with that, I have these stemless wine glasses. And these were just from Target. And I didn't get these this year. I've had these, but I got these. So it came with a set of four and they just have, they're just basic and they have this gold snowflake. So I will leave these out all winter. Um, and I think they were around $14.99 for the set of four. And those make an amazing gift also. And then last thing, this may be even more of like a teacher gift, but again, it's Ray Dunn. But they have planners. You can pick any kind of planner you want. This was only $5.99 at TJ Maxx. And you know, it's just basic. So you don't, if you don't know specifically what type of planner they like, you could do this and they had these adorable Ray Dunn pens for $7.99 and if you can't read that it says write, create, and edit. So these two together would make an amazing teacher gift, I think. Um, teachers seem to use planners all the time. I'm not a teacher, but I'm guessing and I have a couple in the family that use them all the time. And so to have this, and it's nice and thin, this is my planner that I use all the time. It's nice and thin, and um, I think that there's not much that they wouldn't like about it. So that is what I have. So stick around now, and I'm going to show you how I present, how I wrap up a couple of these things and present them really cute. And I had one more thing, too, um, was I baked some homemade bread. Um, I did like a... Um, like a cinnamon streusel bread in one of the um, disposable tin pans. And I'm gonna show you how I wrap that. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this gives you maybe a little bit of idea of hostess, teacher, or even just anybody you're looking to give a gift to, don't wanna break the bank. You know, I think, like I said, everything here was under 20 bucks. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. So the first things I'm gonna show you is how you can wrap 
this bottle of wine two different ways using an adorable tea towel and some ribbon and some gift tags. Um, I love using the tea towels because then they not only are getting the bottle of wine, they are also getting the towel to keep. Um, this happened to be a Christmas one. I really just wanted like a, a ticking stripe towel or something, but I really couldn't find one right now. I found this towel at TJ Maxx for $3.99. Um, and I think you want a tea towel, it would work just a little better because they are a little bigger than a regular kitchen towel. Um, so that this is kind of the crafty, rustic way of um, wrapping the wine bottle. And then the other way is definitely the more neat way. I personally like this way right here, the crafty way, um, the crafty rustic way. I just like the way it comes out. So now we're gonna use the same towel to wrap the mug. So again, they're not only getting the mug and the goodies inside, but they are also getting the towel. Next, we're gonna wrap the candle from Bath & Body Works, and I love using burlap ribbon for this. I feel like it gives it a kind of rustic, natural vibe, and I don't know, I just like the way that it looks. I like to tie it with the twine, and then add a piece of, that happens to be rosemary that I have, looks like pine, like a little pine twig. Um, I like to use the rosemary and tie it in there, and it just gives it a little touch. So I forgot to show in the intro clip this um, hand soap and hand lotion from Trader Joe's. I showed it in a previous haul that I had gotten, but I think that this would make a beautiful um, hostess gift. I think these were only $5.99 from Trader Joe's for the set and it comes with that little holder and it's in a pine scent and I think it would just make a really nice hostess gift. So again, I wrapped this in the burlap added a little mini pine cone and some more of the rosemary sprigs and it makes a great little hostess gift. Next, we're gonna make this homemade simmering potpourri. Um, the ingredients are so simple. I just grabbed a bag of fresh cranberries from the grocery store, put about, I don't know, a half a cup to a cup of those in the bag. Um, I dried these fruit slices, which was very easy. You just um, thinly slice an orange, 
put it in a 200 degree oven for two hours and you flip them after about an hour and pull them out, let them cool completely and you'll have dried fruit. I also added in um, rosemary and cloves, whole cloves and two cinnamon sticks. And all your hostess would, host or hostess would need to do is put the ingredients in this bag in a pot and let it simmer with water and let it simmer on the stove. So another alternative is you could do it in these little mason jars that I got from Michael's for 77 cents. So this is a really inexpensive um, gift and it makes the home smell delicious. And I don't know, I feel like it's just a nice personal gift that you can give that you made and I think the host or hostess would love it. So the last thing we have is I made this cinnamon streusel bread and I'm going to, I put it in one of those disposable tin pans so I don't have to worry about getting that back. I'm going to wrap it completely with this um, saran wrap just to make sure it's all wrapped and sealed tightly. And then I'm going to take that same tea towel, so you can use any towel you want, and um, I'm going to wrap it kind of like a present and tie it with a bow. So then they get the bread, they get the um, towel, and you know, that makes a really nice homemade hostess gift as well. So, and then uh, on top, in the ribbon, I'm going to add some more sprigs of rosemary to make it look pretty. So that's about wraps up this video. I hope you guys got some ideas if you have any parties to go to or perhaps a teacher that you wanna buy for. And um, I will see you guys in my next video and thank you so much for watching and have an amazing day.